I've been thinking about Hawaii and uh, paddling in the ocean, paddling canoe, outrigger canoe, and just being in the cool breeze of the ocean and the water, jumping into the water and just being engulfed in it. Oh, it's really hot lately. <laughs> but a particular reason why the canoe comes up to me is because of what I was just talking about, how when you paddle a canoe, especially with a six-man canoe, everyone has to be on the beat. Everyone has to be together. Not one can overpower the other. We have to be as one unit. And we can only see the person in front of us. <laughs> Each person in the canoe has a job, very important job. Each person. Number one is the pacemaker. They hold the pace. When their paddle hits the water, everyone else's paddle hits the water. Two watches one, two, three watches two, and vice versa. So one is on one side. Seat one is paddling on one side. Seat two is paddling on the other side. But seat two is, pat is watching number one's paddle. And every time that paddle goes in, seat two, their paddle goes in at the same time. Those two are holding the pace for the rest of the canoe. Seat two is counting. There's an agreement before you leave shore. What, how much paces are we going to switch? We're going to do 20 on one side. Hut, pool. Everybody switches. Boom, back in line. Back in the same beat. Don't, we don't skip a beat. We pull our canoes, our paddles from one side, go to the other side in beat, without jerking, without dancing around. If those two seats don't, aren't, aren't in harmony, working together, the rest of the canoe is all wobbly. It makes it hard to paddle. The canoe starts going up and down. You want the canoe to float, just like that beat, just floating. Three and four, they're the engine, the muscle, and five as well. But there's the outriggers that go out to the left of you. So if there's a swell coming or something's happening in the canoe, those seats have to lean over and hold the ama down. Or it'll flip. Seat one can't do that because they can't reach it. They shouldn't. Seat six is the steersman. I was the steersman. Seat six has to watch everything outside of the canoe because everyone else is in the canoe, being together, trusting that six is watching out for us, not steering us into the reef or into waves or into whales. Then that, it's pretty fun. Watching the six, six seat watches the currents so the canoe can be easily paddled. If you're going against the current, everyone's going to work harder. They're going to be burnt out. It's not safe. I've been in a canoe where one of my best friends at the time was in seat one, and I've been six, and we were fighting. <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> She wanted to go one way, and I'm steering the canoe. I'm the one steering. I'm poking my paddle this way to go that way, this way to go that way. And she's trying to pull the, the nose of the canoe somewhere else. Everyone in the middle was like pissed off. Like, what are you guys doing? You guys need to get in agreement. I bring this up because it's, it's, it pertains so much to what's been moving lately how each person is responsible for what's around them right now. And we shouldn't be pointing fingers or trying to do other things that's beyond our responsibility. We should be supporting each other, trusting that you've got your seat, seat one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever your seat is in the canoe right now, and I've got mine. Because what I'm doing in my world supports you and what you're doing in your world. And we have to do that together. <laughs>